Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, this past weekend I did attend IMATS in Pasadena, California. Um, it is my third year in a row going and I think this year was the best year of all. So I will talk about my experience um, in regards to IMATS at the end of the video, but the most important part is all of the amazing makeup goodies that I had a chance to pick up and I couldn't wait to jump on here and show you guys all the products and all the amazing deals and just makeup. Like this is a beauty channel so let's just jump right into the haul, okay? Okay, so I did attend Pro Night on Friday night and it was a breath of fresh air. There were hardly any lines besides Anastasia Beverly Hills and I think that's the only line. So first I went to Dose of Colors. I had to pick up the limited edition um, liquid lipstick in the shade Black Rose. A couple of you beauties had asked me to pick this up for you guys. I am so sorry. It was one per person and it sold out like that when I got to the front of the line there was only four left so it sold out super quick and then I did go on Saturday it sold out really fast on Saturday as well so I wasn't able to pick it up but I did get one for myself and it looks like this it is in the shade black rose and you guys know I love my deep vampy shades so it looks like this it is so gorgeous I'm so excited I picked this up this was full price though 20 bucks but I think it was well worth the price so I picked that up and then I also picked up two more of the liquid matte lipsticks I got the shade bury me which is um, a beautiful um, berry shade um, I believe this was $18 so that is it I got bury me and then I also picked up Merlot, which is exactly what the name is. It's a deep red shade, just like the wine. And it's like a pinky red, um, but it's that one right there. So I picked those up. All of these were $18. The limited edition one was $20. And then I also picked up a lip gloss in the shade Underdressed. In the shade Underdressed, it's a nice nudie shade. And it is that right there. These lipsticks are very opaque. I have not tried them yet, so I don't know how they feel on the lips. But as usual, if you want to see lip swatches or if you want reviews on anything, just leave them in the request down below. So next, I did hit up the NYX booth and got a whole bunch of goodies. A whole bunch of goodies at NYX. So I'm just going to dig in and uh, show you guys what I got. So I got the Stay Matte But Not stay matte but not flat powder foundation I got it in the shade cinnamon spice and the packaging looks like this just a nice setting powder there it is I was you know you're always on a hunt for that nice cheap drugstore setting powder um, so I picked this up I also picked up the corresponding foundation is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. Um, my friend Taisha, who I went with, told me great things about this foundation. She's a nurse too. She uses it every day for work and she loves it. So I picked it up. I believe that was like $4. And then I also picked up the NYX Invincible Fullest Coverage Foundation in the shade Chestnut. I'm trying to get out of the box of my high-end foundation. So I'm trying to pick up some more affordable ones. So of course, you guys... Let me know if you want to see reviews and demos of these. Um, okay. Um, I also picked up the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. I heard amazing things about this. I heard it was similar to the Smashbox Primer. So I picked that up. I also picked up a couple of the Soft Matte Lip Cream. You guys know I love these. So I picked up the shade Anti Warp and Canes. Um, I can't swatch everything in this video because it would just be way too long. So if you want to see swatches, let me know down below or you can always 
always leave requests on my Instagram as well. So I picked up these. I picked up a butter glass in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. Um, a nice um, pinky nude for my skin tone. Something that I can wear just to work. A basic lip gloss. I also picked up the NYX um, Butter Lipstick in the shade Licorice. It's a nice deep vampy purple shade. You know I love my vampy colors. I also picked up the HD concealer. I already have one, but uh, at IMATS you get such a great deal. So I picked up CW7 Tan Bronze. I got a NYX Jumbo um, Eye Pencil in Pure Gold. I needed a gold base for when I wear like gold shadows, so I picked that up. I also picked it up in the shade Black Bean. I needed a nice black base, so I picked this up as well. Um, I also got a um, NYX Chunky Dunk Hydrating Lippy in the shade Watermelon Cooler. I swatched this. It was really pretty. Um, um, also another um, soft matte lip cream in the shade Ibiza, very gorgeous pinky shade. Um, and then I also picked up some liners in the shade Natural Lip Liners, Natural and Soft Brown. Okay, and that is everything that I got from NYX. Next place I went to was Makeup Forever. So you guys, <laughs> Makeup Forever had in my opinion an amazing deal so they're artists for eyeshadows I've done a video on them I love them they are originally $21 so when I saw that they had these I was like okay how much are they how much are they gonna be so these these artists for eyeshadows are normally 21 bucks were $10.50 each oh my goodness like I freaked out freaked out. I have to get me some. These shadows are so perfect in every way. And then the little palettes that they come in are a dollar each. So I picked up six, I think. All right. So I picked up six total. I had to like 10 bucks each. I had to. So in this palette, I have um, D708 M600 and D552. Um, the D is the diamond and the M is for matte. And you guys, like, the pigmentation of these shadows are just so amazing. They're so creamy, so buttery, so pigmented. I love them, so I had to pick those up. And then I also have... Um... S832, D416, and Metallic 728. So 10 bucks each. I picked those up. Okay, next up, I went to Namie's. Inside Namie's, there was like Too Faced, Smashbox, Laura, Laura Mercier, Bobbi Brown, Lorac, those type of things. Um, I just got a couple of things from Smashbox. I got the photo finished um, foundation primer, the new one. Um, I hear everybody rave about this. Nicole Guerrero loves this. So I picked it up. This is normally $42 in store. Got it for 25 bucks. So I thought that was a really great deal. And then I also picked up the Lorac Unzipped Gold. You guys know that I picked this up at Kohl's. I already did a review on this. I'll leave it down below. But this is 25 bucks. So the one at Kohl's is $42. I'm taking that back and I'm keeping this one. So yeah, you know, got to save a dollar. And then they also threw in like this free um, Namie's professional brush cleaner. So I didn't pay for this, but they tossed it in my bag. So I'm going to take it. Next, I went to Lady Moss Beauty. I've been hearing amazing things about their lashes. So I picked some up. They were... I don't know. Expensive. I got these. I spent like... Two, four, six, eight. I think they're like four for nineteen dollars or something. I don't know. So I got the Foxies, which look like these. Um, the Goddess, which are like the iconic from House of Lashes. I got a couple of Goddesses. That's another Goddess. I got the Coco Lashes that Lust Lustra Lux I think talks about all the time. 
another goddess. Um, these are another Coco. A Soho. Luster Lux talks about these ones all the time. And two Soho. So I got two Coco, like four goddesses, some Sohos, whatever. Whatevs. And then I also picked up the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, Concealer. Here, but great things about this. It was like two bucks. Never tried it before, so I decided to pick this up. And then I also got this super cute little eyelashes case that was four dollars. Just to like after you use your eyelashes, you can store them in here. So I thought this was super cute to have on the. And then Tarte was also there. It was their first time there, I believe. Their freaking um, blushes were on sale for ten bucks, which is an amazing deal. I didn't pick up any. I have quite a few. I did pick up their gifted Amazonian clay mascara that was fifteen dollars. I believe it's normally twenty, but. I actually love, love, love Tarte's mascara. Like, I think they're, it's one of, like, my favorite high-end mascaras. So, <laughs> I picked it up. It looks like this. Full size. It's huge. So, I picked that mascara up. I'm not going to open it because I have so many mascaras. I don't want to dry it out. So, I got this from Tarte. Next, next, I went to Sigma. And I just got one thing from Sigma. I got... Um, the E48 pointed crease brush. I have hooded lids, so it's kind of hard for me to really get into my crease. So I picked this up. If you can see, it's super long and pointy and defined, and I think it would be perfect to get in that crease um, and maybe do a cut crease if I needed to. So I picked this up as synthetic. It was... Dang, I don't even know how much this cost me, but Sigma was 30% off. So I picked up this, and then also they gave me a free brush. It is the E21. It is their smudger brush. So it looks like this, and you can kind of just use this to smudge out and smoke out shadow on your lower lash line um, or for whatever you want to use it for. So I got that. The last place I went was Anastasia at Beverly Hills. The line for the store was insane. Um, I went like, pro night ended at 7. I seriously went at like 6.55. Um, I wasn't going to get anything, but I'm glad I went. And Anastasia is super sweet. I got a chance to meet her. They try to like rush and get everybody everything that they needed before the place closed. Because they were trying to like, they turn off the lights, they were trying to kick us out. But everybody was like at Anastasia's booth trying to get their last minute checkouts. So... I spent the most money there. So first and foremost, I got seven of the new liquid lipsticks. I am wearing Heather's on my lips right now. I rocked Sad Girl at IMATS on Saturday and... I'm kind of, I'm liking these things. So I plan on doing a lip swatches video and a review on these. So stay tuned for that. But I'll show you the shades that I picked up. I'm not going to swatch them. So stay tuned for my video, but I'll just show you. All right. So like I said, I picked up seven. The first one is the shade Vintage. It's a very pretty purple shade. And then Sad Girl. It's a very deep, um, vampy shade. I'll post a picture here of me wearing it on my way to IMATS. I'm going to wear this all day. Loved this. Um, I got the shade Bloodline, this like orangey red shade. Um, lovely, it's pinky shade. Um, this is Heather's, which I have on my lips right now. Loving it. Um, I also picked up Vamp, which isn't super vampy, but vamp. And then Pure Hollywood. I'm interested to see how this is going to work with women of color. That's why I bought it to see what we can do and how we can make this work for our skin tone. So I picked up seven of these. Also from Anastasia, I picked up their 
concealer. I picked this up mainly just to define my brows because I heard this is like a hot creasing mess. So I got it in the shade 6.0. So that's what it looked like. I did use it today. I could not wait. Um, I also picked up some of their um, refill like contour shades. There were three for 20 bucks. So um, I got the shade Macchiato. Um, to set underneath my eyes um, and then for uh, highlighting I got to the shade 10k which is a stunning freaking it's so pretty very nice goldy highlight I'll swatch it for you guys so that is 10k for a highlighter a cheekbone highlight and then I got um, carob or carob I don't know how you say it for a contour for my skin tone so it's this very deep brown shade which looks like that and it's right there so I got this to contour yeah, you guys, that is everything that I picked up from iMats 2015. It was amazing this year, so I will just get into my experience. So I've had a lot of people ask me, or I've had a lot of people say that they've, you know, never been to an iMats. They're nervous. They don't really know what to expect. So this is my third iMats um, going. This is my first year actually going to a pro night. So the last two previous years, the rules were a little different. 17 or old or younger was allowed. So this year was kind of like a nice change. Um, so I went pro night on Friday night from two to seven um, there's you pretty much just walk in the convention center there's a whole bunch of different vendors Sigma um, sugar pill like I said Naomi's Anastasia Mac you know Mayron all these different like vendors just set up and you kind of just walk around you can look um, obviously you can buy because everything is a discount you can network if you are a blogger I would suggest taking a business card and kind of networking with people you know getting yourself out there so you kind of just like walk around do your own thing and shop it's very nice on pro night there was no lines pretty much for anything besides like I said Anastasia so it was such a brush of breath of fresh air last year I I might started at 8 they changed it this year to 10 but I, I promise you I left my house like 5 a.m. got there at 6 stood in line forever and it's just was insane it's super like crowded and compact in there and hot and you have to stand in line forever it sucked this year was completely different even on Saturday I went on Saturday as well um, I didn't get there on Saturday till about 1 ish but it was not as crowded as I thought it was going to be. It was so amazing. You get to meet, you know, the YouTubers that you watch, different Instagrammers, um, beauty bloggers. Everyone's there. Everyone's really nice. You take pictures. You do your shopping. It's a really great experience. So if you are going to New York or if you plan on going to L.A. next year, um, if you want to get the things that you want. I would suggest getting there early because there is a line to get in. I heard Sunday this year was crazy. Things do sell out, so if there's something that you want, get there early and go to that booth first. I, you know, always had like a game plan. I kind of made a list of the things that I wanted. I looked on the map to where they're gonna be so I can just go there and get my shopping done and not have to worry about anything. So I always go early. This year, because of Pro Night, I necessarily didn't have to do that. So. And that's what I would suggest for you guys going was just the general admission tickets but it is awesome it's super fun wear comfortable shoes I <laughs> it's funny because you see those girls like that are rocking the heels and they look good but that you can tell that they are in pain so if you want to shop and get the stuff that you want to get done wear some comfortable I wore some my Tory Burch flats I was comfortable no issues it was fun I loved meeting you guys and I just wanted to say that I am the worst vlogger ever um, I really intended on vlogging I was like vlogging as I'm driving like hey guys I'm getting ready to go me and Charlie were vlogging as we were walking in on Saturday and it just 
it all fell apart. So I truly, honestly do apologize. I'm going to step it up and get on my vlogging game. I will vlog maybe the, when I go to the makeup show LA in March or when I go to Fame or Generation Beauty or BeautyCon. I will vlog, I promise, but I match just was not happening. So yeah, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, leave your video request down below. Also, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload videos. Um, follow me on my social media. I love to be active with you guys there. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.